Hi. You might be asked on your test about why the Native Americans and the colonists would fight over land. This question could be asked in several ways. Why did the Native Americans and colonists fight over land? Why was there conflict between the Native Americans and colonists over land? What caused disputes between the Native Americans and colonists over land? Each of these questions is asking the same thing. The questions simply use different words. Now, let's see what you need to know to answer these questions. The disagreements came from different ideas about the land. The Native Americans believe the land was just there. It was there for people to use. They did not believe that any one man could own a piece of land. Indians claimed the right to use a certain area of land. They never claimed to own it. That is not the way the European colonists thought about land. In Europe land was owned by individual men. Much of European land was owned by a few rich men. Europeans who didn't own land wanted to own land. It would be their land to farm, and that land could make them rich. So, Europeans believed all land had to be owned by someone. I think you can see how these two different ideas about land lead to disagreements, conflict, and often to fighting over land. The native Indians thought the Europeans' idea of owning land was a trick. To steal their right to use the land they had used for hundreds of years. They knew the way Europeans claimed to get ownership of the land often involved tricks. These tricks would make it look like the native Indians gave the land to the white Europeans. Since they didn't own the land, Indians knew they had never given the land away. The Europeans could not understand the native Indians' idea of using, but not owning land. They also believed that the native Indians were childlike. They did not understand the importance of becoming rich from the land. There was timber to be cut and sold, there were fields to be planted, grain to be harvested and sold, animals to be raised and sold, and sometimes minerals to be collected and sold. All the native Indians seemed to be interested in doing was running around hunting deer, rabbits, squirrels and other game or fishing. To Europeans, it was clear Native Americans didn't know what to do with land. If they didn't know what to do with it, then it should belong to someone who did. That meant it should belong to the Europeans, since they would use the land properly. The Native Americans saw the Europeans as people determined to cheat them out of the use of the land. And they were willing to fight to protect their right to hunt, fish, and live on the land. The Europeans saw the Native Americans as knowing nothing about using land. Since they didn't use it properly, they didn't deserve to have the land. How could two so very different ideas about land not lead to conflict and fights? So in answering this question, you need to explain the two different ideas. You need to show that these two ideas could not be made to work together. So conflict and fighting erupted as the way to decide which idea everyone would have to live with. Hey! I've got to grab some lunch here, and then study for my U.S. history test. See you later. Bye.